GST and validation is very important. As you are aware that you cannot file your GST R1 if even single GST of a party is not uh, valid. So I mean to say that all the GST should be valid. Even if one of the GST is invalid, you will not be able to file the return. So that is very important. And that is why GST validation is so important. So let us see how we can uh, check the, whether the GST of parties are valid or not. So we can go to the department's website www.gst.gov.in and here the option search taxpayer is there. We can go there and uh, click on this icon and then put in the valid GST or whatever GST we have we can put in there like this. Search by GST is the simplest so we'll use this option and here once the website opens obviously the internet should be working and the site should be working now it seems to be working so we will put in the gst in uh, gst in that we have we will put in here like this and then put in the captcha image and then click on search it says it's an invalid GST, but it is an it is a valid G GST. And I know that. Oh, okay. It seems that uh, the capital letters I have to put in here. So I'll put in the capital letters of Pan, and then I will try once again. Now I'll now I'll capture again, and then click on search. And now the GST it shows is correct. So you have to put in the uh, GST uh, with capital letters. You cannot put it with small letters. So this is how you have been able to get the uh, validate the GST of one party. So one by one you have to do it for many parties. And if the number is huge, then it is a difficult process. Alternative process that we will show you can be done through the web GST software. Here this option is there in regular dealer validate GST and then option sale or uh, uh, parties and purchase or suppliers and again uh, debtors and creators at one place we can get so the li list of parties alphabetical list of parties with the gs10 and the states which has been imported from your accounting software will appear here and you will see how simple the process is here you just uh, get this list of parties whether debtors or creators or both and then you will click on this validate gs10 button obviously internet connection is required here also we will check seems to be okay now i'll again press validate gst and see one by one all these parties are being validated whether the gst is correct or not and if any party's gst is not correct it will be denoted by pink color and uh, you'll get the validate status as structure invalid and then again a different uh, structure is uh, also coming not validated so in a fraction of a minute you can see 36 gst have been validated 33 are valid uh, no invalid is there and two structurally invalid are there and one like you can see the two of these structurally invalid and one is structure is correct but it is not a valid gst as per the gst database so this is how in a very simple manner you can do this and also you can make corrections here by right clicking uh, any gst which you want to correct you can do that also and then also a facility to export this uh, data to excel is available so that if you uh, are working as a chartered accountant or a company secretary or another professional you can send this excel file to your client and who can uh, in turn uh, make these corrections and then you can update at your end so uh, you can see how simple this process is and uh, by within a fraction of a minute or if the data is huge in few minutes you can get this data validated which would have taken a much longer time when you would have worked there through the department's website thank you very much